What is up, my friends? It's Ray back here, and today I'm gonna be teaching you guys how to edit videos like a pro on your iPad or iPad Pro in LumaFusion. It is worth noting that this process can be used for any iPad, from mini to pro, anything that can run LumaFusion. All of these tablets are so well optimized that performance typically isn't that big of an issue. I had the cheapest $250 iPad in the past, and that thing was great for editing video. Still though, it's the iPad Pro that's the best overall option both in terms of its performance and in its convenience, since it has that USB-C port for external drives, card readers, USB-C hubs, and more. It's just a lot easier to use with creative accessories. For the sake of this tutorial, we're going to be putting together a little branded 30 second commercial or advertisement for Apple Arcade. Totally random, nothing I had an opportunity for or anything, just a little idea that I had for this tutorial. I think a short 30 second commercial is just a great way to learn how to import a lot of footage, trim things down, cut to music, color correct a bit, add in some transitions, and so on. It's basic video editing skills for working with a lot of footage and making something out of it, no matter what type of video you're working on. That's the beauty of knowing how to edit video. The skills that you learn can apply to any type of content. So when you're all done filming your footage, first thing you're gonna wanna do is import it to your iPad's internal storage. It's the easiest, most reliable way to ensure your drive or SD card doesn't accidentally detach and damage your video file while you're editing. You can do this by opening two windows of the Files app side by side. On one side, you would go to whatever drive or memory card you have attached, dig in the file structure, and select all of your footage. In the other window, create a new folder on your iPad's internal storage and name it as you see fit for your project. Drag all of the clips on the external drive and drop them in the new folder over on your iPad's internal storage. If you don't have enough space on your iPad, you can work off your drive or SD card. You'll just have to remember to plug it in every time you open your project and make sure that it's securely in place. When you're done editing, you can delete all of these files and free up space for your next project. That's how I typically do it. Once all of that footage transfers over, it's time to import it into LumaFusion. You can leave the files window open with your project files and open LumaFusion in another window. First thing we're gonna wanna do in LumaFusion is create a new project. We'll select the applicable frame rate for our footage and name it based off of whatever project we're working on. So in this case, we're gonna call it Apple Arcade Commercial. Now that that's all set up, we're gonna do kind of the same thing as earlier and select all of the clips in the project folder in the files app and drag them over to LumaFusion. Fusion. Once it all transfers over, your footage will appear in the imported shared folder. Now all we have to do is select all of those clips again and drag them into the timeline to get things rolling. Now we're all set and ready to edit. So what I like to do once I import all of my footage to the timeline is trim it all down so it's easier and more manageable to work with. Three helpful keyboard shortcuts here are Command B, the Delete key, and the Up and Down on the arrow key, technically four. For those touching the screen or using the Apple Pencil, you can do the same thing by tapping the little scissor icon and the trash can icon. Doing this lets me cut out sections from these clips and delete all of the excess footage that I don't need. In most cases, there'll be multiple good takes in each clip, so we'll wanna grab all of those just in case something doesn't look good in the end final product. This is arguably the most time consuming part of the editing process, but trust me, it makes things so much easier in the end because your timeline won't be a cluttered mess. Once all your clips are nice and trimmed down, what's good to do now is color correct the footage. This way things simply become drag and drop at the end. What I mean when I say color correct is simply brightening things up, making colors pop, and making the footage look better overall. By double tapping on a clip and selecting effects, you can access LumaFusion's robust amount of tools so that you can customize the look of your video to fit the needs of your project. Color correcting video really comes down to a matter of preference and what kind of look and feel you want for your project, so feel free to pause the video and take as much time as you need to achieve the look that you want. What's also sweet is that LumaFusion recently introduced multi-select, so now once you've finished color correcting on one clip, you can copy and paste those attributes to as many clips as you want on the timeline, saving yourself a whole bunch of time. The next step is when things start to get fun and messy. What we're gonna do next is find some music and cut to it. You know how in advertisements and commercials, they're really fast paced, they wanna capture your attention? That's what we're gonna start to put together here. I have my library of royalty free music saved to my iPad internal storage so I'm gonna open up a files window here and start listening to some tunes until I find one that I like that fits the footage that I'm working with. I actually really like this one so let's pull it over. 
In some cases, you may need to edit the actual song to exactly 30 seconds, exactly 60 seconds, whatever your advertisement length is going to be. So make sure to use your best judgment if the default sound doesn't sound right with the full song. Now we're going to start cutting to the beat of the music. This is where you have to use your ears to feel the rhythm, feel the beat, and just start moving around your clips into an order that makes sense. In most cases, especially in fast paced advertisements like this, these clips may only end up being one to two seconds at the very most. So make sure you select the good takes in each one. This part can be a bit tedious, especially if you're a beginner. So make sure you take your time with this and button up the clips nice and tight into a polished edit. Also, when you're done editing, make sure that you level the audio. You don't want to blow out anyone's ears when they're listening on headphones or anything like that. So make sure you lower it to around negative 12 to negative six. Put it in that range. All right, so once everything is all cut down into a nice tight sequence, we're almost done. The final step here is to spice things up and add some flair to it. We've already color corrected things earlier, so we don't have to worry about that. But what we can do here is add transitions, text, scale in, rotate clips, and even add some cinematic widescreen bars to it. You know, make it look a little more professional. So what I'm gonna do here is add in some dip to black transitions, which actually fit really well to this tune. The default length looks pretty good, so we'll leave it at that. Next, we'll go through scale in and straighten out a few clips to make things look more impactful and fast paced. You can do this by double tapping on a clip and using your fingers to pinch into your liking. Once that's done, we'll add in some cinematic widescreen bars over the video to give it that film look. This is completely optional, but I have one made in Photoshop saved in my video asset folder. So I'll drop that over the timeline, scale it a little larger and voila, we have ourselves a 30 second commercial edited in LumaFusion Fusion on iPad Pro. Let's check out how it came out. So there it is. Now you know how to edit videos like a pro on your iPad or iPad Pro. It's really not that difficult. In fact, if you're a video editor, you might find this process to actually be fun and refreshing compared to a traditional computer. Using the Apple Pencil is a lot of fun. Touching the screen is very interactive. And if you've ever edited videos like I have for years upon years, you're definitely gonna really enjoy what the iPad is bringing to the industry. It really is shaking things up and it's just a whole lot of fun. Anywho, that's about it for this video, guys. I hope you enjoyed it and found it helpful. If you did, you know the drill by now. Be sure to give it a thumbs up and hit that subscribe button because it always helps out the channel. And until the next one, I'll catch you guys later. Peace.